Hello, today we're going to look at the predatory bugs problem, also known as the curves of pursuit. So your do now task is on the slide here. We've got three predatory bugs sitting at the corners of an equilateral triangle. All at once, each of the bugs begins crawling with equal speed directly towards the bug on their left. What is the path of each bug? In a moment, I'm going to ask you to pause the video and have a think about the path that each of these three bugs will take. You might want to grab a pencil and some paper so that you can sketch down what you think will happen. I want you to spend a couple of minutes thinking about that and then restart the video. If you'd like to pause the video now. Okay, so hopefully you've had some ideas. I've got the three bugs here. And when I click the start button, you're going to see them start moving um, towards the bug on their left. So, as they move to one on the left, obviously they were all moving at the same time and all moving at the same speed. And the path that they each took is displayed by this curve here. Okay, let's have a look at a situation where we've got six bugs. So I've got our six bugs here which have formed a hexagon and when I press start those bugs are moving towards the one on their left and again as you can see we've got these curves here the curves of pursuit that all converge on the same point where those bugs meet right in the middle there we'll have a look at one more example and we'll pop 12 in there this time and we'll see how these bugs all start moving towards the one on the left and they create these curves here as the bugs all converge on the same point. As there's 12 they're taking a little bit longer this time but eventually they will all reach the same point together and these curves, these paths that they've created as they've gone will all meet at the same point as well. So today we're going to have a look at drawing some of these curves of pursuit. Now there's some examples on the slide now and you'll see that all these pictures here, I'm sure you can all see curves in all of these pictures and what you, what you need to bear in mind is that there are no curves actually drawn. All of these curves are drawn using straight lines with rulers. So all of these pictures here that you've got on this slide, they are all drawn with straight lines. Now, you've got two templates, one that looks like this with a triangle with, made out of three dots and then a square there as well. And then there's another page that's got a pentagon and a hexagon on it. And we're gonna start with the triangle one um, and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna draw something like this and get those curves of pursuit drawn in the triangle. So I've got my worksheet here and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to join the dots up to form a triangle. You need to have a ruler and you need to have a nice sharp pencil. So I've joined them up. Now what we need to do is we need to do some measuring with our ruler. Now I'm just going to use a centimetre measure here. Okay. But the smaller you make your measurement, okay, and from each corner we're going to measure in one centimetre. But if you measured in half a centimetre, then you would have a much more effective drawing. It'll take a little bit longer, you need to be a bit, a bit more accurate, but it will definitely look more effective. Now what you've noticed is that I've made a mark a centimetre in from each of the corners of the triangle. Okay and I've got a mark on each side. It's really important to make sure you're not making two marks on the same side. So each side of my triangle has got a mark. And then I'm gonna use those marks and the size of the triangle to join them up to make another triangle inside. And this is where you need to be really accurate. Then we're going to ignore that outer triangle and we are going to concentrate on the inner triangle that we've just drawn. We're going to do the same process again. We're going to measure one centimetre in on each of the sides. So starting at the new vertices of our triangle. Okay. 
So again, I've made three marks, one on each side of the triangle, and I'm gonna join those up now to form another triangle inside. So I paused the video and then I finished this one off and you can see here that although I've just only drawn triangles, I've only used a straight line um, with a ruler, you can see that we've got these curves that have been formed here, okay, much like the example that you've got at the top of the page. So that's the triangle there. You've also got the template for the square as well and, and also the pentagon and the hexagon for you to have a go at. So your triangle one will look pretty much like the one I've done there. Obviously the smaller your um, measurements, if you only did half a centimetre in each time, it would take a lot longer, but you'd have a much more effective curve there. You do need to be really accurate and really make sure you've got a nice sharp pencil and that you're joining your lines up really accurately. The square one would look like this. You've also got a pentagon template. So you could get a design that would look something like that. And you've also got a hexagon one as well. You can then start putting some of your designs together. Okay, so we've got some designs here. Um, and you can see that they're really getting quite intricate as you go down. You can also see um, these sorts of designs in sculptures in real life. So there's this sculpture here by Charles Perry, um, very similar to the, the triangle one I did for the demonstration. So what I'd like you to do is have a go at a couple of the templates. As I said, you've got the triangle, the square, the pentagon and the hexagon. They look really effective when they're in black and white and, and shaded in, in black and white. But what I thought might also be quite lovely is with all the rainbows appearing in people's windows um, everywhere, that it might be quite nice to colour them in rainbow and then you could display them. It'd be nice if some of you came up with some really intricate designs, maybe put some of your... Um, hexagons and pentagons um, together, maybe did some tessellation um, and did lots of different designs. If you've got something that's really effective or something that you want to share then it'd be great if you could take a photo and email it to me and then I can see about getting some of those shared online as well. If you've got any questions please ask and if you just make sure that you print off the template, find yourself a ruler and a really nice sharp pencil um, and get drawing. Have fun, thanks, bye.